Okay guys, so I've gotten a lot of feedback from my last video that I just posted of Albert Einstein himself and plenty other physicists saying that we can't make the Earth's motion detectable through terrestrial or optical experiments. I'm sure you guys have heard this one. But what about the Colt's pendulum, Caleb? You can figure out your specific latitude that you're on just by putting one of these down and seeing how much it processes. Just in case you didn't see the previous video, here's the two quotes, pause and read if needed. Now before we go any further, I'd recommend you guys get familiar with this guy right here, Ernst Mach, and get familiar specifically with his Machian principle, or Mach's principle. Here is the original letter from Albert Einstein to Ernst Mach in 1913 talking about Mach's principle and its relation to our Earth. Here's how it reads after you translate it. If one accelerates a heavy shell of matter, then a mass enclosed by the shell experiences an accelerative force. If one rotates the shell, the firmament, relative to the fixed stars about an axis going through its center, a Coriolis force arises in the interior of that shell. That is, the plane of the Foucault pendulum is dragged around. So what is essentially happening is there is a translation of motion down to the Earth, whether you want to say if that's through the ether or the electrostatics or the electromagnetism in the air. I'm not quite sure which one's going on, but it's definitely going on. So no, this does not prove in any way, shape or form that the Earth is spinning on its axis. And by the way, me and Derek are slaughtering the heliosexuals on YouTube right now. If you didn't know, we are uploading 30 minute, 45 minute videos debunking the debunkers. We did one on Globy McGlobe Face. We've got one on Professor Dave now, as well as Neil deGrasse Tyson himself. While I've got you here, Mindshock has an entire video on YouTube of Runzy Cow. The guy, this guy's an academic scholar, won like three gold medals in the Olympics for academics in three different fields, but completely just destroying relativity with logic. What do you say we finish this one off with a Tesla quote? Today, scientists have substituted mathematics for experiments, and they wander off through equation after equation, and eventually build a structure which has no relation to reality. Okay, math is not a good way to prove the Earth is a ball. Maybe terrestrial, observable, demonstrable experiments would be a little better. Seriously, go to my link tree. My YouTube is linked where we're destroying the heliosexuals. And make sure to check out the podcast while you're there in the link tree. Have a good one.